Hello everybody, Hero928 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we finished up all our work over at the... Hey Boone. At the, uh... Repcom facility, and, uh... Sent Jason Bright on his great journey. <laughs> yeah, we were a bit of a D-bags to them, but... Hey, they, they... They were pulling the wool over Chris's eye, you know... With all, you know, we're looking out for Chris. We're looking out for Chris here. You know, so it, it, it all works. It all works. Shut up. I know it all works. <laughs> but now let's head back up to the dinosaur and talk to Manny Vargas and let him know that things are back to normal over there. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Uh, the ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now, uh, about the dude I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Alright. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Uh, thank you. Hope that helps. I owed you. And people idolize us here in Novak. Yay. Always fun. How you doing? So we got to follow Route 93 up north and head to Boulder City. Going to have some fun there. So right now we're heading, we're pointing east. Also, we got a map marker earlier on. Abandoned BOS bunker. Your station. What are you? Okay, that's one of the DLCs. The Northern Passage. Comes a caravan company. Okay, Vault 34. That's where Chris told us to go. The Repcon headquarters. So we're heading to Boulder City. I see. Now here's Helios 1 here. I think we might go do the Helios 1 quest before heading off to Boulder City. With my next couple levels, I want to get speech up to 100 because I do know that speech basically becomes your best friend later on in the game. Do I have anything to sell? Uh, oh yeah, picked up a bunch of shit while I was out while I was out about. Hey there, need anything? So let's sell some. Hello. Sure. Okay. Here's what I've got. Weird, the mouse wasn't working. Seriously, why is my mouse not working? Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I've got. This is weird. Give me a second, guys, while I find out what the hell's going on with my mouse. Okay, restarted the game. Don't know what the hell that was all about, but whatever. 
Caps. Sell you all the shit I don't need. I'm gonna keep the first recon beret. Keep the anti-venom just in case. Yeah, you know, and then I'm gonna be looking over and buying stuff from her, so another pause while I take care of this. One second, guys. Alright, finish that up there. <clears throat> Bought some more stim packs as well as some grenades for our grenade rifle, which is always awesome to have. And finish selling the stuff we don't need. <clears throat> so now we continue on to that big old building over there. Helios 1. She has some fun over there. Uh, we get, and we get to see one of the more annoying characters in the game. There are many, many annoying characters in this game. We're just about to meet one of them. Oh, thanks, Boom. I swear, as soon as I put my gun away so I can move faster, just the shit hits the fan. Yeah, so we'll be heading over this way towards good old Helios 1. have discovered Helios 1. There we go. And now we're going to get hassled a little bit by the NCR. This is a restricted area. State your business. Huh. Attack! I'm taking over! Uh, speech 35. I'm with the NCR. Anything I can do to help? You're being here as a start, soldier. We aren't exactly overflowing with troopers here. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying <laughs> to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. Uh, shouldn't there be more people defending this place? There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Well, that's a grim outlook, but at least it's realistic. All right, talk. Later. I'll go talk to the idiot with the, with the glasses. First off, I'm gonna put on that beret like I wanted. Then go activate the quest. Lucky old son. But first, yeah, looking good. Me and Boom, we beret buddies. Um, now. I don't exactly like this place because it's essentially a big fucking maze. And I always get lost in it.
So let's hope I don't get lost this time around. That'd be nice. That'd be that would be awesome. Okay, uh, two ways to go. Let's check out this way. Oh, I think I went the right way. I think this is where the, the idiot with the sunglasses is supposed to be. Hey, idiot! Who the hell are you? <coughs> they bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? <laughs> uh, Drive, I'm here for your job, bitch. Ah, shit. Shit, man. I need this. Gotta pay the bills. And I'm addicted to a lot of different kinds of chems. I mean a lot. <laughs> uh... Pay me a stack of caps right now, and I'll forget you have my job. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to buy chems now? Fine. Here. <laughs> uh, so what job do you have here? What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Alright... Now, I was like, this is, is some funny dialogue. <laughs> it was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said, look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. <laughs> they asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. <laughs> uh, that's probably, probably how most people in the government got their jobs. <laughs> Right, why are you worried about being replaced? Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. Uh, what exactly do you do? Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? So you have absolutely no idea what you're doing at all. No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. <laughs> Uh, like I said, this, this guy is just, you know, just destined for a job in government. Not knowing what the hell he's doing. Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I would somebody retarget the mirrors? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower. Then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about... I am now. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Why should it go there? Because I get paid, that's why. Per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know... You do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Uh, later. Here, you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. <laughs> oh boy. Of course, then we have this guy over here. Hello. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? More of a drifter. I see. Then you must have some special business here for them to have let you through. 
Ah, uh, they want to get the plant running. Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? Uh, this is your turf. For all I know, you could have me killed for my allegiance. Very well, yes. I'm part of the followers of the apocalypse. If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never be lost to the world. Now your turn. My only true allegiance is to myself. Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Ah, eh, peace. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care what you do here and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. Uh. Oh, damn. What can I help you with? Yeah, we need kind of to talk to him a little more because he has the password to the second terminal. Uh, what's more of the place in the power plant? I don't plant? entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Uh, I think it's a weapon? Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. So they knew about it. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. So the NCR asked me to help increase the plant's power. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Thank you. That's all I want from you. What's up, Boone? Oh, all right, and we will go ahead and leave this video here for uh, here for now. And in the next episode, we will actually start moving these mirrors around and working on getting the power right where the NCR wants it to be. I'll, I'll probably you know put it toward the strip and McCarran like they want because I want I, I want favor with the NCR for this run. But yeah. That'll be it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Hero 928, signing off.